Well, hello there, Jumps. This is I, Captain Stephen Exo, and yes, we're in the NMSA hub, and we're at a base by Inside Vortex. Inside Vortex, and um, bring me over the coordinates to this base, and uh, yeah, so here we are at Inside Vortex's base. Now, if I could find his base computer, oh look, there's his, uh, there's his lovely little ship over there. Hello, little ship. Right, so let's have a quick look. See. Ah, his base computer, I think, is up inside that little mount over there. We'll go there last, but this is his main base. Let me just pop into camera mode. Let me just show you this. Elizabeth Meredith, you're first into the chat. Well, hello there, Elizabeth Meredith. So these are actually landing posts that are underneath this platform, which is pretty cool. He's added lights in here and all sorts, which is really, really, really gnarly. Anyway, oh, look, there's a little fish tank there as well. And some staircases going down to the actual planet Safiars, and you can call your uh, ship in by using these little terminals over here, which is pretty damn ace. Anyway, Elizabeth Meredith, you was first into the chat. So Elizabeth Meredith, I'm going to give you. We're going to have a little boogie. Here you go. There you go. That's for you, Elizabeth Meredith. Well done in getting here first. Heck yes. Daniel, no, I don't like chilies. Fudge. Dodge 66. Hello there, Dodge. Hello there. And Scottish Rod, hi everyone. Well, hello there, Scottish Rod. And Bobby Maggie's in the house as well. Salute to Mondo to all of thee. Okay, so if I head on into here, check this out. That is pretty damn freaking gnarly, isn't it? Yeah, you don't see that every day. It's like a little mini hadron collider underneath the freaking floor tiles. Heck yes, that's pretty damn snaz. I love that. Yeah, this would be a good little dance floor, wouldn't it? Well, hello there, Moose Gaming. Tom Eric Berg. Well, hello there, Tom Eric Berg. Moose Gaming has got an awesome channel, people. If you haven't checked out some Moose Gaming and also Scottish Rod, both of them fantastic channels. Yeah, please go check those out. Oh, we've got loads of planters that we can sort of um, grab a load of carbon off of. Don't mind if I do. Thanking you. Carbon racks. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. Yeah, I'll have some of that. Cool. What's this thing? Oh, it's like a robot. Isn't that quite sweet? That's quite cool. Oh, that's quite gnarly. I like him. He's pretty good. Oh, do I get stuff in here? Yes! I'm going to nick his oxygen. Heck yes. Thank you very much. This always comes in handy. And we've got uh, Landa Love. Hello there. La Landa I Love. Hello there. Oh, no, sorry, I ballsed up your name. But there we go. Awesome Scottish Rod Crabs. I haven't seen any more crabs to rename at the moment. Oh, look. I love how he's put the GT interface against these little... um. I didn't even know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's head up here. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so... Oh, I like the artwork on this wall. That's pretty snazz, isn't it? And the house plants. Yeah, I love the little wall plants as well. Nice. Little table. Oh, I like using this little centerpiece there. You see how the light sort of goes up it? It's pretty lava lampy, isn't it? You could just watch that for a little while. And, uh, yeah, the use of the uh, glitch trophy. Very nice. Very nicely done. I'm liking the uh, glass floor under the rug. That kind of works. This is very nice. Oh, I like the little table here with just bits scattered about. It looks like my coffee table right in front of me right now. Okay, so let's head on in here first. So we've got a locker cabinet here. Oh, you can actually search these. Cool. I don't think there's anything in them. No, there's not. I just um, opened all those. I'm being nosy. And oh, I like his shower room. Look, you go through the little creature's mouth. That's pretty cool. And there's an appearance modifier there. That works a treat. Freaking awesome as a bathroom. He's put out this as um, a little sink and this as a toilet. This is freaking ace. Yeah, nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. I like that. That's pretty cool. Very simple, but very effective. And we've got Dutch 66 in the house. Hello there. And Vanilla. Well, hello there, Vanilla. Hi, Nell. And we've got a load of um, artwork on the wall over there. That's pretty snazz. I like the attention to detail. And these almost look like little um, mini sort of lava lamps, don't they? Really cool. And the mushrooms, very sort of 60s peace and love type vibe going on. Liking it. Very nice, apart from the freaking guns on the wall that kind of shatters that illusion. Right, okay, so let's uh, head on over here. What's in this one? I think I've already been in this one, haven't I? Yes, I've already been in here. Yeah, let's head back down the stairs and let's go over to the crow's nest of the base. I really like the amount of stuff he's managed to cram into such a small area. This is awesome. Hey, look at this. There's some Albion Pearls on the wall. Well, I think we need Albion Pearls for next week's mission, so I'm going to nick them. Thank you. I don't mind if I do. That's just two. Right. Uh, but I really like what he's done underneath the floor there. That's really cool. Right. Well, let's go and have a look at the old crow's nest, this thing over here. Meow. Let's go on over here, have a look-see. So yeah, this is in the NMSA hub, chums. So there's a lot of bases in the NMSA hub at the moment, but if you do want to come here, 
there's the actual code coordinates in the bottom left hand corner right now chums now I am going to be jumping to another area of the no man's sky hub in a bit and when I do I'm going to turn on my multiplayer and let people join um, I'm just not letting people join in this area because there's too many bases at the moment but the next place I'm going to in a bit um, I'll let people join mainly because oh you can't get in there there's no freaking door yeah Oh, there's loads of Albion Pearls, though. Could get those for next week's mission. Alright, so how do I get in there? Uh, do, I have to, do I have to burn my way in or something? Or maybe there's a teleporter or something to get in there. I think there must be. There's got to be a teleporter to get in there or something. Because there's there's no freaking door, that's for sure. Right, okay, so is there a teleporter over there? Yes, there is a teleporter over there. I don't know how I get in it. He's put that inside a glass box as well. Let's go and have a look. Oh no he hasn't. There's a um, harvester in there or something. Or is that a... is that a teleporter? If I use this teleporter am I going to get stuck somewhere? This is this is a bit worrying. Let's give it a go. Right, okay. Well uh, now I'm all the way over here. I have no idea. Right here. Oh look at this. This is where all of his harvesters and collectors are. This is so cool. This is freaking awesome. Very nice. Very nicely done indeed. So yeah. Oh look there he is. There's the actual maker of the base. There's inside Vortex. So I had to have him here or else his base wouldn't show up because there's that many bases right now, chums. So yeah. Radio. Awesome. I was alerted by Discord. Oh, nice one. Awesome. At least Discord's working for something then, I suppose. But yeah, I know YouTube notifications are a bit stuffed at the moment, people. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to go and try and find a crashed squid ship jump so we're going to go do that as a second part of this video but i want to say a massive great big thank you to inside vortex to inviting me to your base and building this in the nmsa hub you sir are a freaking legend thanking you very much there's loads of oxygen to be had here and it's an awesome place to come and visit and i don't know how to get in that big box room over there but he's probably got a ways and means but anyway right where's my freaking ship we need to oh actually can i just can I? Oh no, I can't just jump back to the Nexus anymore. Darn it! Okay. Where's my freaking ship gone? There's so many markers trying to. Sp There's my ship. Let's go. Right, it is a lovely base. Really is, isn't it, Vanilla? It's very cool. And Assistant No Man's Sky's in the house. So if you haven't got the No Man's Sky Assistant app installed on your phone, it's a really smart, handy dandy bit of kit. It tells you all the recipes for cooking. It tells you what you're going to need for the weekend mission before the weekend mission starts. It's it's really cool. It's a very cool little app. You can find it on Android. You can find it on um, uh, Apple. And yeah, if you just hit up um, the assistant NMS in this chat, you, you can jump over to his channel, find out more over there. But yeah, I'm going to head back some. I got here via the Nexus, so I don't think there's portal interference. No, there isn't. OK, well, we're going to go for a portal to get the, to, to get to the crash squid ship, chum. So here we go. Let's uh, call in the old Nexus. Let's go on in. And uh, because it's going to be a crashed ship, I don't want anybody else to get it. So for now, I'm just going to... Actually, I, I don't even want it, but I do want it to appear there, don't I? So, yeah, let's turn off... I'm just going to turn off the, um, the multiplayer for a bit. But I will turn it back on when we get to the actual crash site, OK? So here we go. Let's go. Let's go on in. Open sesame. Awesome. Let's go, let's go. No, I'm not doing chilies, Daniel, for fudge. No, we're gonna be doing those um freaking evil sweets from hell again. Those um bam those those boozled sweets. I can't do chilies. It does my stomach in, it does my head in and every orifice on my body. So no thank you. Uh, Moose Gaming. Yeah, Inside Vortex, definitely. Freaking 07 Inside Vortex. An amazing base. I was in the Nexus earlier and everything is run running past Ariadne. Oh, okay. And every time you want to shoot her. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, you can't though. You can't even get your multi tool out in the old Nexus anymore. In VR, you could karate chop people and kill them. They've stopped, they've stopped that from happening, which is a bit of a shame. Right, okay. <laughs> right, so we're going to go to the big portal blue base and I'm going to dial in the portal code in there. I'm going to need that portal code. Let's get that ready while I'm teleporting. Right, okay. Now, 
sadly, it's got to the point now where screenshots are that small on my freaking phone. I have to blow them up and all sorts of stuff to read the dang things. I think I need to go for an eye test, people. But, um, yeah, I want to hold out of getting glasses for as long as I possibly can in life. Because as soon as you go down that, it's a very slippery slope. Very slippery slope indeed, because um, your eyes start relying on the glasses. And then you're going to need glasses for the rest of your life. So, yeah, rather not, thanks. But, uh, yeah, image saved. Usually it pops up with the edit option straight away. Didn't this time. Okay, so now I've got to go into my gallery and find the bloody thing. Library. Where are you? There you are. Yes, messages. And then I need to crop it to the bottom corner so I can get the freaking coordinates. Sorry, this is a new phone. All the um, icons and everything are different on the damn thing as well. There we go. We go for that. Awesome. I can now read that. Done. Uh, it doesn't help that it's a freaking snow planet. I mean, look. That's what I'm up against. Yeah, it's a snow planet. And there's the code. So it's, it's a bit of a tricky one to read. It's in the NMSA hub, though. So it's all good. Let's go and have a look, see if we can find this. OK. Can we talk about this murder? We can indeed. So I don't think it's the murder of Hesperus, because if you have got the No Man's Sky app installed, like I said, you can see what the next week mission is going to be. And apparently we're going to be speaking to Hesperus. So Hesperus has not been murdered, or if he has, it's probably his doppelganger or something. Ah, oh, for fudge's sake, I've got to activate this damn thing. OK, here, this takes me a little while. There we go. So yeah, I think it could have just been one of Tephus's friends. I mean... When Mercury was dissing her Hesperus the other week, he actually did it by name. He didn't say a traveller friend. He actually said Mercury, I mean, he actually said Hesperus by name. So I would have thought if it was Hesperus, he would have been named. And you know, when we got to the gravesite, it didn't say Hesperus on there. It didn't say Iteration Hesperus or anything like that, where other weeks, you know, the, the grave of Astera actually said Grave of Asteria or whatever. So I've got a feeling that it was just a random traveller, a random traveller friend of Tephus, and it just so happens to be coincidence that um, Hesperus has gone missing. I think Hesperus is going to reappear tomorrow. I think he's going to reappear in the morning of tomorrow, so if he does, I'll put a video out there. I, I don't think he's going to say anything tomorrow, because, you know, the weekend mission hasn't started, obviously, and they're programmed not to. Right, there we go. Brilliant. Awesome. Shabow! Awesome, awesome, awesome! And let's have a quick look-see. But yes, it is weird running past Ariadne inside the Nexus, knowing that she is the traitor, knowing she is the bad guy. Right, OK. Vincent Bennett, true. Thanking you. Telepath, afternoon, Captain and Chat. Well, hello there, Telepath. Telepath is another awesome base builder. He's got a channel as well, but he specialises in bite beats. So he's got done some awesome freaking tunes. He's one of the best bite beaters out there, I believe. Anyway, I haven't come across any better. OK, so here we go. Diplo. Sunset. Diplo. OK, easy so far. Y shape. Lovely jubbly, or flux capacitor as Jason Plays calls it. Love that. Sunset. Rockets. Lovely. We've got ourselves an eclipse. Sweet. A waypoint or a balloon. Excuse me, I don't even know what that was. And uh, we've got a gem or a voxel. Lovely. Jubbly. We've got a beetle, like John Lennon. And then we've got ourselves a whale. Excellent, eh? And an eclipse. There was no doubles. There was no doubles, no triples in that one. That was a bit of a boring one for the old tongue. Right, OK, here we go. Fire it up. Pow, pow. Right, OK. Awesome. We're heading in. Robert Harris says evening all. Well, evening. Robert Harris. And we've got Shorty Beard. I still think that the true murderer is, wait for it, US, as in the traveller wearing a rubber mask from the Quicksilver vendor. What the fudge? I mean, technically, it is uh, it is canon law that the rubber masks look and act like real heads, but they are helmets for the intent. So, in theory. Hmm. OK, well, that's got me scratching my short beard. Really? Billy Beard. I don't know. I mean, you could be on to something. I mean, there was that um, weekend, there was, was that weekend mission a few weeks ago where we went to that abandoned building. And in there, it said about um, how people could change their appearance into like light bulb like heads. So, yeah, it does make you wonder. I honestly think Null is still somewhere in the scenes, being a puppet master and pulling the strings. That's what I think, but then I'm a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist. Ariadne was my first sort of guess, but because of all that 
light bulb head stuff. I still think there's more to come. I've got a feeling this week's weekend mission might end on a cliffhanger. But we will see, we will see. Okay, right, so um, I just can't see how they can end it off in one more episode. It just feels like it's it's too much to have, you know? Scratch that short beard. It's more of a stubble, isn't it? It, it's a, I can't even really call this a beard. You know, that's that's like calling this a haircut. That's freaking not a haircut. That's just a lump of hair. It hasn't even got any style. Right, okay. What the fudge is that on the hill over there? Oh. It's a rock with a bush. Okay. Brilliant. I thought it was something new. Right, um, what am I looking for? Why am I here? Oh yeah, crash squid ship. So we're going to head towards that comms ball, people. So if you do want to come here and you do want a squid ship, this, I give you the, well, you saw the coordinates when I keep them in. I'll give the coordinates again when I get to the actual crash ship location. At least then you can write down the coordinates. Oh my god, there's a freaking stegosaur. Hello, stegosaur. Oh, cute as fudge. Right, we're going to go into photo mode. We're having a look at the stegosaur. Sorry, I know we're here for a squid ship. But how often do we see stegosaurs? Not freaking often. And look at that, it's a stegosaur with a hippo's head. Freaking lovely. What a lovely majestic beast. Hello, majestic stegosaur beast. You just haven't got the spikes on your tail, but you are the best thing I have seen for a while, Mr. Stegosaur. And what the fudge are you? Okay. Now that that's the stuff of freaking nightmares. It's cute, but it's hideous at the same time. I mean, those eyes just look like it's possessed. If that was in the Exorcist movie, it would fit. Okay, right. I think we've had enough of looking at fauna. Let's go before we're sick. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, a hippo saw. Heck yes. Nice. Let's, um, where are we going? Comms ball. Comms ball, comms ball. His mum might love him. Yeah, you usually find that with mothers. They're, they're misguided creatures, our mothers. Uh, where the heck did that comms ball go? It's freaking vanished. Arse and biscuits. Oh no, there it is. There it is. It's just gone high up in the sky where I wasn't looking. Sneaky hiding comms ball. Okay, so where, where are we now? Yep, three minutes away. Well, let's get a bit higher. Let's go through the last cloud barrier and then we should be able to hyperfrost straight down to it. Yeah. A mega deer bat. I like your way of thinking, Mr. Assistant No Man's Sky. A mega deer bat indeed. Now, I didn't discover this planet. I imagine whoever did has probably named all the beasties. Once we land, why can't I hyperfrost? I want a hyperfrost! Okay, it's not letting me because it says planetary interference. I thought I broke the last cloud barrier. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. Hyperfrost. Oh, fudge that then. Okay, we'll just fly there freaking normally, shall we? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, it's not going to take us long anyway. There you go. It's only like six seconds away. Elizabeth Merritt, you missed it. Yeah. I just want squishy, squishy their little cheeks. Ah, oh, yeah. No, don't no. That that's not how you squishy cheeks. Right, let's um, fly down here. Let's uh, land. Sweet. Oh, g yeah. I turned off multiplayer just in case someone nicked the squid ship. I don't think they've nicked it. I think it's got its cloaking device activated. Right. So if I go over here, maybe if I press this in a certain sequence, we can get it to appear. Okay. So hit that, followed by a little bit of this no 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 not that one probably this one then okay let's try camera mode for a second let's see if that brings it to to appear oh look we've got the guns the guns have appeared it is there awesome fantastic i think it just needs one more press of something else let's, let's try that yeah okay that's that's doing it there you go you've got a little bit more hmm okay uh, oh here we are there you go that that did it nice fantastics greetings from trident yeah so um yeah, this was actually found by James P. Vale. Let's see if we go into the um, discoveries, whether it actually comes up with a gentleman's name that discovered this system. There you go, James P. Vale. Thanking you, James P. Vale, member of the Trident, who, um, who found this. Let's see if we can name the Stegosaurus. I don't think we will be able to. No, it's already been uploaded, and uh, they've called it Tropopisamia. Nice, very nice. Okay. Brilliant. So this is the yellow tiger squid. So let's go into camera mode. Awesome. Uh, why is it not... Get There's the code in the bottom left corner. Lovely jubbly. I want to get rid of the black bar. Let's just wait for a second. It should vanish. Go away, black bar. There we are. Done. Oh, it's freaking back. Arson. Okay. 
get rid of that okay there we are you, you got the coordinates anyway but there we are if you want this ship to get it there you go there's the coordinates in the bottom left hand corner right now but yeah awesome and you also saw me key those into the actual um, portal right at the start of this now that is pretty damn freaking sweet isn't it so I've shown you an awesome base and where to get a crash squid ship from now if you're not on PlayStation you're not gonna see that comms ball so let me give you the actual X and Y coordinates just in case you want to come grab this alright so the X and Y coordinates are down there in the bottom left hand corner of my screen right now so that's a minus 30.88 and a plus 79.85 okay awesome I hope you had your notepads to hand okay brilliant so that's pretty much that so I'm showing you a squid ship I'm showing you an awesome freaking base let's take off let's go J spot I just got an atlas past level one and I think that anti mana yeah 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 they're great those atlas passes aren't they they find all sorts of amazing twaddle apart from you know the Atlas Pass level 3? You know, you don't get that until quite late on in the game. And you think, now I can unlock the world! You don't really find much, do you, to be fair? Let me just uh, fly over to a station. If I can find a station, I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to a station where there's some Atlas Free Pass doors. Let's go and open some Atlas Pass Free doors. And, um, I think they're missing a trick. I think they should put something awesome in those doors, you know what I mean? Because... Like I say, you don't get the passes till quite far in. And then it's like, well, everything that's in there, I could get it on the planet's surface within like 12 seconds or something, you know? Shorty Beard, as much as I love collecting ships, I tend to only fly one. Same here, Shorty Beard. I really hope they introduce different ship class missions. I have got a video on my um, channel called Ship Missions and Perks Ideas. And I really hope we get some of that into the verse uh, in a future iteration. Righto, so why did I come in here? Oh yeah, I'm going to go and unlock some freaking Atlas Pass level 3 doors. I can't walk through there, there's an invisible block in volume. Oh, I wonder what the um, multi-tool's like. Oh, virgin, heck, that's big. Okay, what's that? That's quite... that's not that good. It looked good, but it's not. Okay, let's go in here. Open sesame. Open sesame again. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, hello, little geck dude. Aren't you a cutie? Right, okay, let's head on over here. Looked like a snail without the shell. Okay, let's head on down here. Hello there. Oh my god, that that Viking looks like a budgery guard. Right, let's go down this way. And let's open this door. So this is a level 3 door, okay? And I head inside, what do I find? Oh, okay, this is quite cool. I don't think I've ever seen plants like that one before in here. That, Okay, I was just about to say, you know, who, who bother goes in here? I mean, you'd think you could harvest some awesome shizzle, but no, there's... I don't think there's anything I can harvest in this room. That was completely pointless. It was just a bit of extra scenery for me. Okay. Fantastic Mondo. Brilliant. But yeah, it'd be nice to have these for your bases though, wouldn't it, as a base part? That looks quite cool. I like that. That's pretty sweet. Okay, Shorty 2 Beard. It's too easy to make any ship all-purpose. It really is. Now, in my um, ship's ideas, to give you an idea of what my ship's ideas video is about, we said ideas quite a lot in that little sentence, but it's like the haulers. It'd be nice if, at the moment, my ship has got two slots. It's got general, it's got technology. It'd be nice if it had a cargo slot, like a, a secure hold. You know when pirates scan you and um, it... It comes up with, oh, we've found a load of navigational data. Isn't it weird how you never have to give them that navigational data? Instead, you have to give them freaking units or something. Um, I think you should, you know, have to give them away. Uh, like, or, or whatever, you, you, whatever. And if you've got a hauler, at least you've got it all tucked away and hidden. But yeah, these uh, Atlas Pass free doors are a little bit of a letdown. Let's go ch try this side. I don't think there's one this side. No, there isn't. In the old stations, you get two. In the new stations, you get one. Freaking bargain. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, grab that. I've learned nothing new. Brilliant story of my life. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done in this system. Hmm. Okay, well, I was trying to think of something else I could do. Um, we've seen a squid. We've seen an awesome base. Let's go look at one of my random bases. Let's go and check out one of my bases. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to let people join my freaking game, wasn't I? There we go. Let's do that. Okay, so options... Network, enable, enable, boom, 
And uh, there we go. I'll just put this to anyone. So anyone can join my game right now. So even if you're not my friend, you can still join. So there you go. You can jump on now if you wish. Okay, right. So I am just going to fly around in this area because it is the NMSA hub. Let's see whereabouts in the NMSA hub it is. Uh, see how far in or, or wherever it is. Let's see if we can do that. I don't know whether it's going to let me actually because of portal interference. Yeah, portal interference. Dang it. Okay, well let's go and have a look around on one of these planets. Let's have a look what else we've got here. Aggressive sentinels. I'd rather fuck freaking not. <laughs> Whoops, I nearly said a full bad word then. Okay, um, ooh, what have we got over there? That's something, isn't it? That's something. Ooh, what are you? Do you another frost planet? Well, Sub-Zero Moon? That's tempting. Yep, we go to the Sub-Zero Moon. Let's go there. Oh, that's the planet. That's the one I was on. That's the one I was freaking on. We're going to go to this one instead then. This is another frost crystal, but it's a big one. Okay, we go there. Yes, you can, Daniel. Um, yeah. If you boot up your game, you should be able to find me. As long as you're on PS4, I think. You should be able to find me. And if, even if you're not on PS4, if you use my friend code, you will. You'll find me that way on PC or Xbox or whatever. You can just jump on. Yep, so we got uh, Charmander. Hello there, Charmander. I know you've already got a few bases already here. Oh, that's Daniel. That's Daniel. It's the same person. Yeah, so yeah, if you want to jump on, put a base here. You're more than welcome to. Nice one. There we go. Oh, I don't want to see you in multiplayer. Uh, okay. Um, it's okay. I probably won't even see them. Hey, look. It's one of them trees hugging a freaking rock. I see these a lot on... Um, Frostworld planets. I've done a video on this tree that I've seen on multiple frost planets. It looks like a little sort of tree humping a rock, doesn't it? It does look like it's wrapped its little arms around a rock and it's given it one. Yeah, I've done a video on this uh, that I've I've seen these on countless frost planets, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit disheartening. But uh, yeah, yeah, my search for a rock humping tree. Yeah, and that you see them quite a lot on frost planets. I think the frost planets are the ones that are the most copy and pasted out of all the planets that we have currently. Let's go looking for some Critchiars on this planet. Let's go and have a look see. And make them abandoned and less desolate. Yes, yeah, shorty beard, definitely. Handcrafted, not procedural, definitely, definitely the case. Okay, one thing I love, 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 love to see added to the game, but probably never will, is the home planets of each race. Oh, shorty beards! Breaking out all the freaking ideas. Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's good to know. Re read the Atlas Pass. Yeah. Uh, it's way too easy. Yeah, multi purpose. Sweet. Oh, hello there, Neil Marlow. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Cool. So, yeah, if you do want to get into the NMSA hub, um, that's how you get into the NMSA hub. Anyway, we've got one person in. Let's. Uh, we go jump to one of my bases. We'll go do a little tour of one of my bases. So if I call in my ship, I mean, there's one person there. I will jump to other NMSA hub bases that I've built. So if you do want to join the NMSA hub, this is the episode to do it in. And uh, I've got it open to all. Charmander or Daniel, whatever you want to call yourself today. Um, as soon as you've managed to put down a base marker and you're happy, uh, you can always jump out and at least then somebody else can join if they want to. Oh, we've got um, Fruity Girl. Fruity Girl. Oh, yeah, I think you sent me a PlayStation message the other day asking if you could join. So I'm glad you've you've joined. You've actually found us. Nice one, Fruity Girl. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, just stick down the base marker and then you're here. You're here for keeps, which is cool. And if you head towards that um, comms ball, you're going to get yourself a squid ship to boot. How freaking awesome is that? Okay, shorty build. I'm curious. This planet will look like for me. I have the most Exol... Oh! Okay, the Exolar mods installed. Very nice. Well, you're on PC then, Shorty Beard. I think you could join me still using the friends code if you wanted to go check that out. But yeah. Elizabeth Meredith, I don't know why I can see you in multiplayer. Oh, don't know why. You don't know why. Okay. I'm not too sure then, Elizabeth. Um, I mean, I've got it open to all, like I just showed my settings. If you use my friends code, you should be able to find me. Give that a go. Right here, uh, let's head on over here and let's pick one of my bases. Dutch 66. Does anyone think Hello Games will do a November next gen upgrade to No Man's Sky? Dutch 66. I would. Oh yeah, I've got to get back through the freaking portal, haven't I? Before I can do that. Let's go do that then. 
Oh, I wonder what happened to Fruity Gal. Fruity Gal seems to have dropped. Maybe they've already put down a base computer. I don't know. Right here. Yeah, I would like to think they would. You know, a lot of these small indie developers probably have got their dev kits already, you know. So, hopefully, hopefully that's a thing. Right, so let's head on over to the portal. I would like to think that, you know, we've got the bloom for the lighting. Maybe they saw what the PlayStation 5 does for ray tracing. I don't know why it's not letting me lock onto the freaking portal. There we are. Um, so, oh, fudge, he put his freaking freighter in front of the portal. Okay, let's uh, try that again then. Ah, oh, I can't hide a frost because of freaking bloody bottom. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There you go, there we go. Cool, awesome. Yeah, so what was it going to say? Oh, it shut into me past it, didn't it? Yeah, I, I would like to think that they've seen how good No Man's Sky looks with ray tracing and gave us that bloom update to give all generations a little bit of a taster of what awesome lighting looks like. So yeah, and also there was that 4chan post to say that they were working towards a next-gen port. I would like to hope that some of that was true. I mean, a lot of what we saw was true so far, so let's just hope that that is as well. Okay, we're coming in for a landing. There we are. Shorty Beard. Oh, I was too slow. Your group is full. It won't be in a minute. I'm going to jump through this portal. Um, all of those guys are already in this system, I think. So we've got the yellow marker there. We've got another yellow marker there. Uh, okay, I can't see the other markers. Right, I'm going to jump through the portal. Hmm, actually, I need to wait for them to appear, don't I, in this system. Unless they've got their markers turned off. Hello there, Daniel Kid. Hello there, Chamanda. That's Charmander. Lovely jubbly. Can I still get in this freaking portal? Let's just escape. Let's go. Radio. And then um, I go to another NMSA base. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, once I get through this portal and I jump to another area of the NMSA, I'd, I'd kick Charmander or something, so if you want to jump in shorty, you can. Alright, Dutch. Rod, imagine playing with no pop-in, super fast loading times, etc. Fingers crossed. Heck yes. Well, what I, I've heard mixed things about the PlayStation 5. First, what I heard is the PlayStation 5 is going to be completely backwards compatible. This was going back freaking months ago with some sort of PlayStation thing. And then the next thing I hear is UBISoft saying, actually no, that it won't be fully backwards compatible. Only games that say um, future compatible will move over to the next platform. Not all games will. It's like a handful of games that you can play on your PlayStation 5. And it's usually the ones that are just about to come out, you know, like Cyberpunk and um, Valhalla and stuff like that. But um, yeah, but even then, I've heard that Cyberpunk is charging 69.99 for the PlayStation 5 version. But I didn't pay 69.99 for the PlayStation 4 version. So I'm like, what the fudge is going on? I have no idea what is going to happen when we get the PlayStation 5 drop. But I'd be damned if I'm paying for the same game bloody twice. Shorty beard. Oh, I was. Oh yeah, yeah. Called Royal Pearl from TV, aka Fruity Gal. Sorry, I can't join as I'm in survival mode. Oh, fudge. That's not good, Royal Python. I haven't got a survival mode save in the NMSA hub. You're going to have to find somebody else to get you over here, sadly. Right here, let's go over to my other base where I've got another portal. There we are. There it is over there. Yeah, I only really play on normal or um, creative. I don't really play on survival. I've got a permadeath save, which I never use, which is in the centre of Euclid. Um, yeah. Sword jumped me over into the sword sort of area. The sword's awesome. Shorty beard, awesome. Thanks, Steve. Not a problem. Let's um, let's have a look. See. Okay, so we want just my bases. So bases, bases, and we go to NMSA Venom Lizard. We go there. So this is my base that I've built that looks like a gecko. Um, Pre-warning: if you do join me at this area of space, there's some very, very bitey creatures. They freaking bite, and there's a lot of them. It's not just one or two creatures on this planet. Pretty much every creature wants to eat you on this planet. Um, yeah, it's it's mental. Dust 66, I've not pre-ordered Cyberpunk. I think I'll probably just get the digital copy. Yeah. 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 I, I pre-ordered it. I thought maybe if they were going to do an open beta or something, I might get a key or I might get invited. So I took a bit of a, bit of a gamble. A uh, bit gutted, because two days after I pre-ordered it, that's when they announced the delay. So that was a bit of a shitter. I've also pre-ordered 
Star Wars Squadrons and also um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Yorgros, the gentleman who got me the PlayStation 5, who gave me the cash for the PlayStation, um, also gave me the money for um, Assassin's Creed. I've, I've never played a Creed game in my life, so this will be the first one that I play, and um, I'm only going to be really doing a review of it. I'm going to play it long enough to the point where I can actually do a decent review of it. If it's something that I really start enjoying, I think you guys might like it too, then I might do a little playthrough. But I tend to stick to sci-fi games as a bit of a playthrough, unless it's something like Hello Games has done, like, um, you know, The Last Campfire. I just felt obliged to do that one. Okay, so this is my Venom Lizard. Right, so let's, um, let's go into Network. Let's kick one of these guys out. Let's get, let's get rid of Charmander, because I know that he's already got bases in my system. So we get rid of Charmander. We'll leave these two guys in, because I don't know whether they've managed to put down the bases yet. But yeah, there you go. Like the freaking wind. Try and jump in now, sir. Righty ho. Let's, um, let's go outside. Where, where did I put the freaking doors? There's the doors. Now, somehow... These bitey creatures on this planet can even bite you when you're standing on top of things. Oh, great. Have I just got myself stuck somehow underneath my own freaking base? Is that a freaking thing? Is that just happened? Oh, for fudge's sake. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm okay. It's all right. Don't worry. Okay, let me uh, go into camera mode and I'll show you this little lizard that I built. Let's uh, go into here. Yes, yeah, shorty beard. You're on board. Lovely jubbly. So here we go. This is my gecko. So there we are. It's got some nice little legs. It's kind of like a salamander cross gecko. It, it's it's kind of cool. Killed by your own va base. Yeah, I nearly got stuck inside a vortex. <laughs> See what I did there? Freaking comedy genius. Okay, there we <laughs> there we are. So it's like a salamander come gecko. Yeah, I called it poisonous gecko. I think or lizard. I don't know. But there we are. It's got a nice long tail. It's it's it's. That's kind of what it is, really, isn't it? But yeah, these creatures are freaking evil on this planet, people. It's not a nice planet. It looks nice. At first, you're like, oh, yeah, I, I like this planet. No, freaking evil planet. Everything wants to kill you here. Uh, uh, apart from the Sentinels. The Sentinels are all right. Oh, look, there's Kev B1's base over there. Who else's base have we got over here? I'll tell you what, there's Ivor Techno's base as well. Let's go and have a little visit of some of these bases that are on this um, area of space. I've I've explored. Oh, Simba Cat's got a base as well. All right, this is interesting. Cool, cool. Let's go and have a quick look. See. Okay, Scottish Rod. That's my job, Captain Steve. Heck yes. Killed by your own base. Yeah, I've been I've been trapped a few times by Scottish Rod's base. Scottish Rod's base is a freaking awesome. Now, I wonder if this is a, a a Scottish Rod base where this purple star is. Let's just go there. Let's have a look. See. Now. I don't know why I make the sound effects. Right, okay, so we've got cue ball. Squadrons is going to be nuts. It does look good. And it's got VR mode throughout, so it's pretty awesome. The Mecha Hare, playing Perma as well. Coming up on the centre, the long way, finally. Well, nice one. Awesome. That is an achievement. You should get a trophy once you're done, which is really sought after. So we're heading to I4 Techno's base right now. Now, I4 Techno has got a channel on the old YouTube. And um, I used to love watching his content. He has taken a little bit of a break at the moment. Hopefully he'll be coming back in the near future. If you haven't hit him up, maybe give him a sub, just in case. His job drops back in. But the guy is, is freaking bonkers. He, he's a nutter. He makes me laugh so hard that I actually have tears. So, yeah, he's a good guy to watch, just because he's completely barking. All right, so we got that. Landing area not clear. I think his base is there. Let's fly up here a bit, and let's land there. There we go. I find if you manage to get your sort of ship at sort of like a 45 degree angle, so your nose is slightly pointing up, it lets you land. Well, hello there, Turbo Life. What's up there, people? Well, hello there, Turbo Life. I've been looking for that Rebel Outlaw Galaxy for the PlayStation 4 for freaking time. It was supposed to have dropped ages ago. Has it buggered? No, it hasn't. It's um, only out on PC, by the looks of things. I think I may have been to this base before of I for Technos. If it's the one I'm thinking about, it's a bit weird. Oh, okay, maybe not then. The one I was thinking of was a giant football stadium come um, swimming pool. This isn't it. I don't even know what this is. Like and subscribe. Okay, brilliant. 
And, uh, yeah, Rave Cave. Oh, this is his Rave Cave that he was building. I thought he did this in his own system. He's actually done it here. Oh, that is so cool. Well, his Rave Cave is freaking mental. If I can find the entrance to the damn thing, that is. Um, yeah, he's built like a big DJ booth underneath the ground somewhere. Let's go into camera. Oh, is that it just here? Is this, um, is this light fisher marking the entrance? Yes, it is. Let's go into his Rave Cave. Awesome. I might have to wait till daytime until it all sort of kicks into life. But here we are. So we've got a load of his trophies here as you're walking in. Very psychedelic. Dum, 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 dum. And then down here is where he's got his, he's got a bite beats down here and he's got a big disco floor. It's pretty in, it's pretty immense. Can I see the code? Yes, you can. Here you go. Let's, um, let me bring up the code for you guys. Uh, Shaba. There it is in the bottom left corner. Oh my god, who's that that just legged it past me? Freaking uh, doing the bass tour before I get to do the bass tour. Mentalist, okay. Well, he's already on the dance floor. Okay, I'm going to come join you, buddy. Who's this? So this is Shorty Beard. Oh, yeah. Well, that is a very short beard you've got going there, my friend. But yeah, let's uh, let's let's join in in the shenanigans. Here we go. Shenanigan time. Here we go. Celebrate. Shenanigan time. Yeah, now the, there is actually a bike beats in here somewhere. I, he did have music in here, so... Yeah, I'm just not too sure how we trigger it. I can't see a switch anywhere. It's probably up there somewhere. I, this looks different to the, what was on his video, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's go and have a look see if I can find the switch. So this is his little DJ booth. I'm sure he had a bite beat, but I'm not seeing it here. Okay, alright. No worries. But that is pretty damn freaking swish, isn't it, anyway? pretty awesome so that's um the rave cave it's pretty awesome i restarted no man's sky and wasn't in the nmsa hub that's not good mr daniel um well charmander i know that you've got bases already in the nmsa hub haven't you i'm fairly sure you've jumped on a few times in the past so if you haven't got one here already that's that's a bit mental but i thought i'd uh give up your space for shorty beard as um they, they really wanted to put a base down so cool cool the scottish rod he was upgrading before he was forced off oh uh, okay. he was upgrading oh okay whoops sorry sorry the radio and uh let's uh, have a look see uh, i've seen you join a lot of times before in the past i just assumed that you've already got a base here so there we go. let's put that down there nice one cool cool just John, so a quick question, Captain. How... what was that? How can I join? You use the friends code at the bottom of my screen. <laughs> but now I've got four people in, you're going to struggle to get in. Okay, I can drop from the group, so let someone else in. Yeah, as soon as you put down a base computer, um, yeah, uh, drop out to let other people in. That'd be, that'd be cool. So yeah, if you haven't got a base here, Daniel Kidd, um, jump in. But yeah, put one down. Okay, right, okay, so let's um, have a look around. Who else is base we're we going to? We're going to Kev B1's. Let's go and have a look at Kev B1's base quickly. Let's go and have a look at that one. Sweet. Scottish Rod, the base. Nice one. Someone just walked past my front window and gave me a really odd look. Yeah, probably was that. Is that Captain Steve? Yes, it is! Right here. Uh, da -dum -dum -dum. Let's um, head on over here then. And we go to this one. Let's go to that one. Cow. Meow. I haven't seen other people's markers, but they could have their markers turned off. So I don't know. And I haven't seen. Wing Commander says, there you go. It's a nice one, Shorty Beard. Shorty Beard has dropped out now. So if somebody else wants to drop in, there's a free space now. So if somebody else wants to come in, you can. There we go. Landing. Sweet. That's taken a while to land. Oh, it's landed on a freaking cliff edge. How... Oh, my freaking days, that's high. Fudge that. Okay, right, um, let's go over here then. Whew. Let's head on over to Kev B1's little base. Okay, this is interesting. What the fudge is that? Up, and then there's an arrow. Oh, it's up there. How the... What the... How? How do I get there? Have you... Have you um? Given us any sort of teleporter or anything to get get up? I can't even see it. I can't see the base. Um, right. That's a little bit dodgy. 
I have no idea how I'm supposed to get... I can't see a base up there. Can you? No, I can't see one. So, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can now. One second, let's go into camera mode. It's right by the wings. You see it? There it is. Look, you can see it if I change the light. It's kind of... I can't fly that high with my backpack. I'm going to have to use my ship. Let's hope there's landing pads up there, people. Let's go. Sweet. Having lots of close calls today, Captain. Well, inside Vortex, your base was freaking awesome. Yeah, we went and had a quick look at your uh, base. It was there for about 10 minutes or so. Very swanky pad. And um, quite a complex base at that. It's awesome. Right, so Kev B1's base. This is going to be fun to spot from up here, isn't it? Um, darn it. Let's uh, fly over this way a bit. And then we go back again. Now we know it's up in the sky. We know what we're looking for. Uh, apart from there's another base marker there. Kev B1's base. Yeah, let's go there then. Let's see if we can get to it. Excuse me, asteroid. Right, so that's Kev B1's base. Let's now, now let's see if we can bring it in and have a look in the sky and see if we can spot the dang thing. I do like orbital bases, but they can be a little bit tedious to spot with the base marker on the ground. Mainly because they don't fully render in straight away. There you go. There is landing pads up here. Oh, I've been to this one. This is a lovely little base. This is a cool little base by Kev B1. It takes a little while for things to render in on it, but it's, it's a great little base. I'll just go into camera mode and let's, um, I'll show you around it quickly. So yeah, this is the one with the awesome doors. So if I jump out actually, let's, uh, let's, let's jump out. Come out of the camera mode, there we are. And then when I walk over to here, I think it's the one with the awesome doors anyway. Maybe not that one then. Let's try this one around here. Let's see if this one's got the awesome door. I'm sure this was the one with the weird doors that all spiralled open. Maybe I'm wrong then. Okay, we'll just go in. Sweet. Suborbital base. Lovely jubbly. This is pretty damn sweet, isn't it? I should, how did I come here before? I can't remember. Teleporter. Takes us into the lower deck. Nice one. And we got a little teleporter there. That is so cool. That is awesome. Nice one. And we got the Mar the March Hare that's joined. Hello there, March Hare. Hello. Awesome. Sweet. So yeah, feel, feel free to stick down bases and all that sort of stuff. I've joined right quick. I can drop down a base computer and hop back out and build up later. Yeah, go for it, March Hare. Definitely. Sweet. But that is a really cool base, isn't it? That is pretty awesome. There's a lot more to it than I actually... Um, fort though. I mean look at all this down here. I didn't even go down all of that. But it's got like a pretty awesome farm. Nicely done. Nice, nice, nice. I like all the scaffolding as well. It looks almost like a satellite, doesn't it? It's so cool. Very nicely done. I'm liking that a lot. That's awesome. Cool, cool. Ian Rowlings. Tis rather cool. It is, isn't it? That's really cool. Radio, let's uh, jump in here say gone off let's have a look for another base so there's a lot of bases in the NMSA hub and a lot of creative people drop by and put bases in I do have a whole um, playlist just called the NMSA hub bases NMSA Albion Pearl so I guess this planet has got Albion Pearls growing in the wild so this could be a good place to come to um, for this weekend mission because we are supposed to get a load of Albion Pearls for this one. I, don't, I can't remember how many. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Well, 20 seconds before we get to Simbacan's base. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the app that quick, but here we go. Boom. Let's see how many Albion Pearls we need. I mean, I'm in normal mode now, so I could always grab them quickly. Okay, weekend missions. Yes, I accept. I accept the risks. Uh, oh, you only need 16. 16 Albion Pearls is all we need, chums. So Dutch has already got his. Nice one, Dutch. Matthew Arthurn. Hello there. Hello. Howdy, hey, thanks. Not a problem. Yeah, go for it. Righto. So this is Simbacat's base. Let's go touch down over here. Now this one looks like it's got like a little docking port, and I think his base might be underwater. 
Okay, yeah, his base computer is under the water over there. But he's got like a little like a little boathouse or something over this way. Let's have a look what this says. PS Vita is torture. Did you build this on a Vita? That's pretty impressive if you did. I've tried playing Monster Hunter Weld on a PlayStation Vita. I got battered. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not easy playing on a Vita. So, yeah. Okay, there's a teleporter here. Does this take me into the sea? Let's see. Yes, it does. I'm now underwater in your underwater base. Convenient. I like it. At least that building had a, a purpose. Oh, I've been to this one. And I couldn't actually traverse it because of all this mishmash inside here. And I haven't got edit rights to dig through here to get through there. And I did try going in camera mode, but even the camera wouldn't go through there. So, yeah, I did do a partial tour of this some time ago. And, yeah, a few problems with this base. Oh, look, it's teleported me outside. And, yeah, that, that's not fun. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go over here. So, yeah, it is a little bit sandboxy still. Played Destiny 2 on PlayStation Vita. Not a good time. No. It's it's alright if you're just chilling out. I'd imagine if you're just exploring a planet, it's going to be okay. But trying to build a base or doing anything complex, no freaking way. Okay, righty-ho. Let's have a look see if there are Albion Pearls just out in the wild on this planet. Let's have a quick look-see. Um, Albion Pearls? Are you Albion Pearls? Humming Sacks. Yes! So there we are. So if you do want to come here to grab your Albion Pearls, I'll put that code on the screen once again. Um, oh, I would do. There you go. It's in the bottom left-hand corner now. It's Eagle Sunset TP Waypoint. Sunset Rocket Eclipse Waypoint. Black Hole Beetle Whale and Diplo. Who do we have here? Hello. Hello there, chum. How, how do you do? Uh, who's that? Uh, oh, it's Charmander. He's not even in the group and he's here. Well, hello there, Charmander. I don't know how you did that, but freaking well done. Excellent, eh? So, yeah, nice one. It's good to see you back. Good to see you back, sir. Good to see you back. But, yeah, here you go. Look, I can invite you to the group now. There you are. So, then you'll be in the group if you want to be. But there you go. So, yeah. It's up to you if you want to be in the group or not. It's up to you. But yeah, put down a base computer now, Mr. Charmander. If, if you haven't already, stick one down. It's like a 50 chromatic metal, isn't it? There you go. Just in case you haven't got enough for one of them. Let's let's see if we've got some chromatic metal. And uh, there you go. That should do you. There you go. There's enough chromatic metal there to put down a base computer, just in case you haven't got um, enough. Oh. Did you give me it back? Oh no, no, yeah, I just gave it to you, that's good. Awesome. Oh, there's a giant cat creature there. Nice. I wonder if that gives out the um, the leopard fruit. Pheromone sack. No, that's a predatory one. That will freaking bite. Okay, we'll keep away from him. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was heading towards getting the um, freaking the pearls, weren't I? That's what I was doing. I'm so easily distracted. I'm very sorry about that, chums. That's just... I'm like a freaking magpie. I see something shiny. It's like, oh, shiny thing over there, shiny thing. And then, um, yeah, I go off on a tangent. And I can't actually find those freaking humming sacks now. Let's go back down to where I was. Let's try that, that step again. Okay, now they've reappeared. Brilliant. They must be underneath the ground. We'll use the terrain manipulator. Let's go. Weapon charge complete. Oh, okay, righty ho. We will recharge that right now. Let's go. No editing permission. Oh, for fudge's sake. Really? Okay, let's try around here then. Puppy power. Let's try that. There we go. I'm in. Okay, awesome. Here they are. Let's pop these open. Lovely jubbly. Pick these up. Dum dum. I've got a couple of these on my uh, freighter, and I've also got an Albion Pearl farm. My um, NMSA Diplo base is full of the damn thing. So I could probably get them in one hit from that base. Oh, look at this. This is quite cool. A little underwater underwater cave system. That's pretty nice. A bitey creature up above me. It can probably bite me through the freaking floor or teleport down here in a minute. The bitey creatures on this planet are freaking relentless. They really are. There's some more over there. Let's travel underneath the ground. Let's keep away from the bitey guys. And let's um, see if we can get to this humming sack this way. Bum bum. 
Awesome, awesome. Go on, be more than three this time. That'd be nice. Oh, we've got a whole freaking pile of them. Christmas Day! Okay, I'm easily pleased, as you can tell. Okay, right, so here we go. Let's uh, open all these. Lovely job. There's a whole freaking load of them. This is awesome. Let's grab all them. Sweet. Nice one. I love Captain Streams. Make sure to smash that like button. Turn it blue. Well, thanking you, Miss Gaming. Nice one, sir. Nice one, sir, for the reminder there. Oh, where's my um, where's my thing gone? There it is. I found my thing. Thanking you. There we go. So yeah, Moose Gaming, Moose Gaming has got an awesome, awesome channel. I think I mentioned it earlier on, but he streams all sorts of games, not just No Man's Sky. So he usually finds the odd gem as well. And so yeah, good guy is Moose Gaming. He's got a nice sort of tone to his voice as well, so he's, it makes him a lot easier to watch. Okay, let's uh, have a look around. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Uh, there's no more humming sacks around. And how many have I got now? I have got... Let's go to my cargo area. 10 plus 2, that's um, 12. Fudging heck yes. That GCSE maths is useful. Right, okay, let's um, head on over here. Let's go, let's go. Dig dog. Yep, cool. I've broken ground on the base of my own here. Thanks for letting me join in. Oh, nice one. That's cool, shorty beard. You're most welcome. There's that freaking giant cat creature. It's sort of stuck on that mound. I think it was trying to eat me. Oh, it, it looks like it wants to eat me now. You can have an animus beam to your freaking beastie head. Oh, my days. It's like a giant rat cat. Look at that thing. That's freaking stuff of nightmares, isn't it? Yeah, take that, rat cat. Oh, my days, it's got six legs. It's got six legs, and it's got this monstrous, evil-looking tail. What an ugly specimen that was. I say was, because I've just cooked it alive with my animus beam. I mean, check a look at these creatures as well, chums. Look at that. You know that one that we saw at the start that looked like a, a rat-cat-bat thing? It, this kind of looks like one of them, but this one's walking on its hind legs. Freaking weird. And what have we got here? We've got some punk rocker cows or sheep. They're pretty cool. Mohawk sheep with twin tails. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I think I've named all the creatures on this planet, to be honest. Here's another one of the little bitey gits. Yep, he just bit me. He just clawed me. Freaking, yeah, you won some. You, oh, you take this, you little armoured kitten. Die. Heck yes, you're dead. Now that is exactly the same as the creature inside. You know that sketch pad that's on Twitter? That is exactly the same creature as that. There's no difference at all on that one. You see these guys from time to time and they look like, the, you know, like Battle Cat from freaking He-Man. If you tame one and you ride one, they look freaking outstanding. They really do. But yeah, I see a lot of these and they are identical planet to planet. There is a very little difference. And that guy has sketched one in his sketch pad. He's, he's recorded evidence of um, the same creature being pretty much everywhere. But yeah, here we can get we can get um, we can get a nice like um, safari picture here. You look at that, there we go. We've got that there. Let's uh, spin it round. Oh no, because I'm in um, multiplayer, it won't keep my uh, weapon out. Oh, it's going to de it's going to night time as well. I don't. Yeah, I can can change the sun. But there we go. Look, nice safari picture there. Captain Steve destroying the NMSA hub. Creature at a time. Nice one. I agree, hundred percent. Okay, Elizabeth Meredith. It would be cool if we could have a local transporter where we could set up all the bases in the NMSA hub and travel easily between them. Yes, I did a video actually today about easy base tours. Maybe going around in like a little land vehicle. You just set like a where you want to go and away it goes in cinematic mode. Hello! Oh, you freaking clawed my freaking hand! You, oh, you freaking bit my backside! You get! I guess I did kill your best friend, so it, I guess it's only fair that you want to eat me now, but... I oh, Die! We can take that, you! Get... Yeah, that'll teach you. You know what? Let's see how far we can launch you. There we go! Into the hole! Frickin' golf hole in one! Frickin' excellent! See that? That's That took skill. Who's this guy? Is this Charmander again? It is Charmander again. Hello, Charmander. Yep. Yeah, righty-ho. So that, that was quite fun. 
That would be quite good to actually just dig some holes, kill some creatures, and then you play golf with their carcasses. Let's uh, let's see if we can get this big one into that hole. I don't think we're going to get that big one into the hole, but we will try. Um, this is probably going to take me more than a hole in one, though, for this creature. Oh, it doesn't even freaking move. Yeah, that's 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 not golf. That's not going to happen. Oh well. Okay. Right. We've got a new golf ball. Die! Become a golf ball. There you are. You're now a golf ball. Right, so let's see where the hole is. Let's see how we can get this one into the hole. So where, how far away is the hole? It's over there. Okay, so it's just over that little hill. Let's see if we can get him in. Where'd he go? Oh, you freaking... Uh, disappeared on me. Freaking little git. Damn, there's no more golf balls nearby. That, that sucks. He despawned before I could hit him into the hole. Oh, I fell in the hole. Righty ho. I thought we could have had a nice little game of golf there, chums, but no, we lost the ball. Oh, there's one. There's a, there's a couple of balls. Let's get this one. Die! Right, okay. I think that's a hole just over this canopy. Let's see if we can get him in. Hey! Yeah! Oh, fudge. Yeah! I need a nine iron! Oh, missed him. Right, let's, uh, let's try that again. No, hitting a hitting him uphill is just not it's just not it's just not happening go on ah oh, I'm well over par now I don't even know whether it's a hole it is a hole awesome let's try that now kapow freaking fly git come on ah oh, man oh I sliced it it's, it's not going in ah oh, git ah oh, no this is this is crap I did a lot better with my original one. Yeah, just go up. There we are. He's in. We're, we're, yes, awesome. That was a hole in like 22, but yeah, I, I'm taking that. That's, that's that's a new average. Okay, cool. Awesome. Just go up the damn hill already. Heck yes. You know what I mean? These balls just don't roll right when they've got two freaking tails. You need to find a decent golf ball if you're going to have a decent game of golf. You know what I mean? Right, okay, nice one, inside Vortex. I 100% agree, Elizabeth Meredith. What did Elizabeth Meredith say? It'd be cool if we could have a local transport. Oh, yes, yes, the travelling system, yes. Yeah, it's like if you're, in an, if you're in an exocraft, it'd be quite cool if you just highlight something like that. That base over there, say. I want to go to that base, for example. I call in my, my exocraft, which I don't think I can do right now, because uh, I think somebody else has got their freighter in, in, in orbit. And then when you get in the actual exocraft, it says, do you want to auto-travel? And when you go there, maybe if you just press the, the trackpad, this middle button, maybe then it just goes into cinematic mode. So a bit like in Red Dead Redemption 2, when you get on your horse and you can um, go into cinematic mode there, and it just automatically plots camera points around where you're travelling, does all sorts of nice angles. And yeah, I think that would be a freaking excellent way of travelling from A to B. I don't think you should be able to get that exocraft until fairly late into the game though. And I think rather than just locking onto bases, you can lock onto other points of interest. So if there was a monolith over in yonder, you could just lock onto that and away it goes, you know? Yeah, that would be quite cool, like a little autopilot craft. And even when it gets to water, it just skims you across the top of the water surface or something James Bond style-y. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I think that would be awesome. That would be cool. Anyway, guys, I think um, we've kind of exhausted everything that I can do in today's stream. We've gone and visited a shed load of freaking bases. You've got a crash ship location for an exotic squid. You've met um, Charmander. We've played a bit of golf. There goes Charmander. Meow. There he goes. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be ending off now, chums. So, you guys out there have been freaking awesome. And have a lovely weekend. I'm expecting to see Hesperus back in the Nexus tomorrow. I'd be surprised if he doesn't appear back tomorrow. So, yeah. Cap wants a chauffeur. A chauffeur. That'd be nice. I'd love to have a chauffeur. That'd be cool. Yeah, a little AI chauffeur. That'd be awesome. Elizabeth Meredith uh, said, Well, there are several systems in the hub. A local transport system could allow travel between them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. I nearly got landed on by a freaking ship. I used to have a ship that looked almost identical to that. Is it a short stubby? Yes! I know exa I, I know where there's a ship that looks exactly the same as that one. It's in my NMSA blue, blue planet system. Are you trying to land ships on me on purpose? Is this a thing that you're trying to do or are you just showing off all your ships? Well, they're fantastic. They really are nice, Charmander. I can't get into any of them because they're all owned by you, but yeah. If I could, I'd nick it and crash it on purpose. But anyway, everybody out there, you've all been freaking awesome. And I'll see you all later. Take care for now. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.
Okay, so here we go. I'm ending off the uh, broadcast now. So thank you very much for everybody jumping on board. Yeah, later's Robert Harris. Bye, Neil Marrow. Bye, Ian Rollings. Bye, Scottish Rod. Bye, Dutch. Bye, No Man's Sky Assistant. Goodbye, Elizabeth Meredith. Goodbye, Just John. Goodbye, everybody who joined and everybody that turned up today. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye, Shorty Beard, of course. Bye, everyone. Yeah, I can still see your chat, even though I'm on the bouncing blue screen. I know, it's freaking awesome, isn't it? The bouncing blue screen. <laughs> Bouncy blue screen! Bye, Cubal. Bye, Daniel. There you are. Bye.